Hi there, everybody. Uh, Saint Sparkle Bear here. Um, it looks like these videos might just be weekly. We will see. Uh, so this week, um, I'm gonna just mention, talk about like as brief as I can, um, this whole thing about the kids uh, in cages at our border and um, a uh, a government that seems callously dedicated. Uh, to keeping them in internment camps uh, and uh, putting their parents to slave labor. And I've heard time and time again that like this is, well, it's legal. We're just following the law and these people are here and they're coming and they're coming illegally. And, um, and that got me thinking, you know, and then like Jeff Sessions, he like came out and he just straight up used Romans 13 um, to say that the the government is ordained by God, and so the laws of the government are the laws of God. And I'm just going to say how much bullshit that is. Um, and I'm going to lay it out really plainly here. Um, so first of all, it's bullshit because that passage, Roman 13, has been used throughout, throughout the centuries uh, to support any number of human rights violations and disasters. Um, I mean, it was used to, uh, to support apartheid in South Africa, uh, cause that was legal. It was used to support slavery here in the United States because that was legal also. Um, and it was used to support the, the Nazi regime dream during World War II. Um, you know, which seems to be what the president likes about it. Uh, but, you know, so anyway, so uh, yeah, this passage has been used time and time again um, by oppressive governments who are using Christianity uh, as something to hook onto uh, for all those people out there. And, um, and they're using it to do the most heinous and unchristian things that you could possibly think of. Um, and it's not like Jesus or Paul didn't talk about that. Um, because ultimately, the, the, the law this is the law. So, so what they said was basically that like human laws, we should follow human laws because they're there for a reason. You know, the the state is important to follow. You know, like it's it's like you you go along with things to a point that it interrupts with God's law, and when it interrupts with God's law, uh, then you go with God's law. And do you know what God's law is? The only law. Like, literally, because, you know, Jesus gave new commandments. Jesus was the new commandment, basically, was a new promise in the flesh. Um, but the, the law, according to Jesus and according to Paul, was to love your neighbor as yourself. To love your neighbor as yourself. And they said that that, and I quote, is the fulfillment of the law. And that Christians have a choice. They can choose to uh, continue to follow the state's laws, and they can choose uh, to somehow make that about their faith, or they can choose otherwise. They can choose to love. And that's the thing. This administration, uh, Jeff Sessions, uh, Sarah Suckabee, whatever, Suckabee, huh? Uh, no, she's, she's a human being, right? But their Christianity... They're not choosing love. Um, and, and it makes you wonder, like, how much do they love themselves? Because the commandment, love your neighbor as yourself, it's ultimately how you feel about yourself, because that's the way you're going to love your neighbor. So, uh, you know, so obviously these people don't love themselves very much, uh, because they think that putting children into cages and imprisoning and putting adults into slave labor when the, what they're doing is seeking asylum is, in fact... Uh, not only a legal thing, but a thing ordained by God, um, which absolutely nothing could be further from the truth, uh, because God's law is love, and uh, God is love, and that's the truth, uh, and that is what the Bible actually says. Um, and here we have me, uh, you know, an agnostic, queer, non-Christian who is who like follows Jesus, and I'm telling Christians how to behave. And that, I think, is really telling about the times in which we live. That I had to grow up as a Christian and uh, be rejected to then tell Christians what their Christ actually said. And uh, with that, I wish you a fond farewell. And um, I know that you'll have a good week. Live it in love of your neighbor. Live it in love of yourself. Bye.